ladies and gentlemen, please allow me to introduce a complete lineup of Zen Vons. <laughs> Asus recently launched their three latest smartphones in India, the Zenfone 4, Zenfone 5 and the Zenfone 6. And today we have with us the Asus Zenfone 5 for unboxing. The Zenfone 5 is a 5 inch dual sim Android smartphone and the special thing about this smartphone is that it is powered by an Intel Atom processor with a hybrid threading technology. Now talking about the specifications of this device, it is equipped with a high resolution 1280x800 HD IPS display sporting a pixel density of 294 ppi for an impressive visual experience and is powered by a 1.6 GHz Intel Atom Z2560 processor with Intel hyperthreading technology. It's a dual core processor and it also has a PowerVR SGX544 MP GPU for graphics. It has a 2 GB of RAM and 8 MP megapixel back facing camera and a 2 megapixel front camera. It comes in two variants, an 8GB and a 16GB variant and it does support micro SD cards up to 64GB, so no issues about the storage. The 8GB variant is priced at 9,999 rupees and the 16GB variant is priced at 14,990 rupees. It comes in five different colors that are white, black, purple, red and gold and we have got a review unit of the black one with 8GB of storage. Let's not waste any more time and begin with the unboxing of the ASUS Zenfone 5. So this is the packaging that it comes with. And we have some specs listed on the left hand side of the box in a really nice and attractive way. And this packaging reminds me of Blackberry phone packaging. On the front we have a Zenfone 5 branding and an image of the smartphone. Over at the right it says Intel inside as the smartphone is powered by an Intel Atom processor. At the top of the packaging it has an ASUS logo. And at the back, nothing much interesting. Pulling out the box, at the top we have the ASUS Zenfone 5 itself. I'll take that out and put it to the side as of now. Then we have the standard ASUS branded Indian pin wall adapter for charging. As this phone uses a common micro USB slot, so we get a mic USB to micro USB cable for charging and data transfer. Then we also have some uh, a small card that shows us how to take out the back panel of the ASUS Zenfone 5. After that we have standard ASUS branded in-ear earphones with a mic and a button and we also get some additional ear tips. And we do not have anything else inside the box. Let me keep everything inside except the ASUS Zenfone 5. Now let's take a quick look at the Zenfone 5. So here's the Zenfone 5 and it feels really nice to hold in the hand and the back is a matte and rubbery in finish which really feels nice to hold and not that slippery. The side bezels are a little bit big but the phone looks great. Build quality wise the phone feels fantastic. At the front top we have the 2 megapixel secondary camera with an earpiece and some sensors. 
and below the earpiece we can see the ASUS branding a 5 inch 720p HD IPS display and thumbs up to ASUS for not providing a cheap reflective display below the display we have three touch capacitive buttons a back home and multitasking which are not backlit and below them we have an attractive looking metallic band which makes it different in looks from other phones and it also adds some detail to it on the left hand side we have nothing other than an indent to open up the back panel the right has a really nice and detailed design power and volume rockers At the top, we have the 3.5mm headphone jack with a noise cancelling mic. Bottom has a micro USB port for charging and primary microphone. At the back, we have an 8 megapixel camera with a single LED flash and an ASUS branding. Below it, we have the speaker grill and a faded Intel Inside and Zenfone branding. Now talking about the feeling of the phone, it feels super nice and comfortable to hold in the hand due to its slightly curved back and a matte rubbery feel which reminds me of the Moto G. It definitely feels much much better to hold than my Xiaomi Mi 3 which is a bit uncomfortable to hold for a long time. This phone is a bit thick but due to its curved back it doesn't feel that thick to hold and it feels really solid device and it also has got a fantastic build quality. So that pretty much wraps up the unboxing of the Zenfone 5. If you have any further questions about this device then do let me know in the comments below. I'll try to answer those in the future videos. Thanks for watching and please do subscribe.